Bree Pettis here with another Make Podcast. Today I've got a field report from the East Coast, the ITP program at NYU. That's a lot of letters. ITP stands for Interactive Telecommunications Program. And it's a graduate studies program that was conceived in the 70s that basically gets people from a variety of disciplines together and makes them take programming and computing classes, among other things, and then makes them collaborate on really cool projects. They just had their thesis exhibit recently, and Tikva is going to share a little bit about what her project was all about. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you do too. Hey guys, my name is Tikva Morawadi, and I'm a graduate student over at NYU's Interactive Telecommunications Program. And right here we've got a spring show going on, which means that of course the whole semester, all of our gizmos and gadgets and things, they're being shown right now. And there's one project that I think you makers would really love. It's something that Britta Riley, Chris Kaczynski, and I have been working on, and I want to show it to you. It's called the Snack Facts, and here it is. I'm Britta Riley, and this is my partner, Chris Kaczynski. Hello. Um, and this is the Snack Facts. What it is is a three-dimensional printer that prints out frosting that comes in an aerosol can. And um, right now we've got it printing four different colors. We call it the Snack Facts because we also have a software application for it that allows you to draw a three-dimensional sculpture and then you can hit print and it will send it to um, the Snack Facts and print it out so it's like a teleporter. It teleports your sculpture into real life. For today, for the show, we have um, we have it hooked up to a joystick controller that allows you, you can move it backwards and forwards and to the right and the left and then we've also got one that lets you go up and down so that you can draw slices um, and then you press these buttons to make it squirt. Ideally, we would love um, to experiment with some more uh, chemicals, different, you know, different things, because we'd like to get something that has a really good consistency that you can print with, so it's liquid. But we'd love it if it solidified a little bit better than the frosting does afterwards, so you really can get um, legitimate 3D printing. We found that. Uh, wood filler actually works well if you're not going to make it a snack, if you want to make something that's viable because you can, um, you can paint it, you can sand it, um, and you can make stuff that will actually last. But this is more of a toy model and it's just for fun and you can eat lots of frosting and get sick. <laughs> so Chris, how did you guys make this? Um. Kind of simply, it just runs on four servo motors and four stepper motors. The stepper motors actually drive the, the machine and the servos uh, drive the pumps. They drive the cans to squirt the frosting. We use pulleys and um, timing belt as the gears, the, like the rack and pinion system. To control it, we use four arcade buttons that squirt, um, one for each color of frosting. And then we have two joysticks, one for X, Y axes and one for the Z. Um, and, you know, it's just basically on or off. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Thank you, Tikva. Keep us updated on all the cool projects going on over at the ITP program. I look forward to hearing more from the East Coast. All right. You've been watching another Make Podcast. I'm Bree Pettis, signing off.